Hi friends, it's Karen Hines here again with Solutions Mixed Small Business Marketing. So I, I ran out of storage and that's how the first video had uh, cut off. I'm just heading now to the office to do a few things to get a head start uh, for Monday. Not going to stay there for too long. But prior to that, I had to drop off um, some um, tools to a friend of mine. She's doing a project and um, just needed a few um, small, small tools. And I have lots of those small tools around because I'm always trying to recreate, redesign, innovate something. So I'm at Dixie now and um, heading towards Queen and 410 where the office is. The road on a Saturday is not that busy, not that busy at all. COVID for sure has impacted the traffic on a Saturday. I don't mind it being quiet, but it just tells me that there's not a lot going on in our economy that um, would drive the traffic, you know, hence driving revenues in the economy. Businesses are hit, but small businesses, I believe, are hit the worst. The sad thing that I've discovered is that relief and support from day one was never targeted to small businesses. A lot of red tape, a lot of roadblocks in order for small business to actually benefit from any of those, myself included. And I've seen that there's been a lot of struggle and a lot of hardship that I've reached. Um, small business colleagues of mine having to close within a short space of time because without traffic and without the support it's not easy to stay open it's not easy to stay open the funny thing is that unfortunately many people don't own a home where they're able to scale back on their business in terms of the square footage and operate from home. Some people may live at places where running a business from home is not allowed. It's not allowed in the area. The, it's just, it's just tough. It's just tough. It's just tough. And I can't wait for this time to pass 